Well, this just arrived in the post today. And uh, if you wonder why there's no address on it, it's on the other side, but that's okay because the box opens this way. And inside we have a business card. And this was ordered on the 23rd of January. And it arrived to me on January 30th. So that was a really quick turnaround. And let's put the box to the side here. Take a good look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, very professionally packaged. Quick reference guide in the back. Hard to do this and reach around the camera at the same time. Oh, it's a very nice case. To the back side. Very nice. Can't wait to get give this a try. Okay. And uh, let's get this in the machine and give it a go. All right, I've got the magic voice out, and I'm gonna put that in the cartridge port. Let's see how it does. Ah, oh, here we go. Got a few games on my SD card there. All right, it's micro SD card. Looks like. Oh, let me hit that. It's got a reset button on the cartridge. I'm going to hit uh, this one. Let me try this one. Wow. Let me mute that for a moment. Uh, it's a cracked version, as you can tell. Like just about everything out there on the internet right now. Cool. So it reads from my card okay. Now I'm looking at the uh, the quick reference. It says uh, hit F1 for utilities and options. Wow. Oh. Set the clock. Page sequence. So from what I've read, you can actually make this. Uh, boot into whatever image you've got. So let's say you've got a, a certain cartridge that you want to come up automatically when you power it on. You can have it where it does that. And uh, it's got several other things built into it like the dead test and the diagnostic cartridge, which normally if you wanted those items, you would have to buy them separately. So yeah, you can have them uh, where it comes up automatically or where you can select them. Go on to F7. Here's your auto start on boot. Things that you've saved. And properties of, the, I guess, the file that you're looking at. Very cool. I wonder if this works at a 128. Let me grab one and we'll hook that up. All right, got the cartridge in the 128. And let's give it a power on here. Oh yeah, it does come up. So, let's try Galaxian.
Awesome. All right, let's try a different one here. Oh, you don't have to use the keyboard. I just realized you can use the joystick to make your selection. Uh, let's try, try, try Gorf the cartridge. You know what? I think this one has to be in port one, possibly. It's not responding to the joystick in port two. Let me try a different one. Whoop, that's the same one. Go up to, uh, go up to Centipede. Hey. All right. Yep, all the uh, menu options seem to work as well. So that's good. Reset button works. Let me try a disk image. That did not seem to work. Looks like it, because uh, that's a disk image for a Commodore 64, and it came up in 128 mode. Let's see if, it, yeah, if I pull up a directory, it actually sees the disk. So let's do this. Let's go uh, into 64 mode. Just do this. Let me hit the. Uh... Oh, you know what? That resets it back to that. Yeah, I'm not sure because it doesn't uh, doesn't see the cartridge if I go to one if I go to 64 mode from the 128 mode. It's probably something I'm just not doing doing correctly. So I have to give that another try after I read through the documentation. But it definitely does the cartridge image is good. And one good good side effect to it staying in 128 mode that would let you do 128 programs on this thing uh, which i don't have any on here at the moment i'll have to try that but yeah that's good it works on the 128 now the cartridge itself it's got uh, a micro sd slot on the side and that's what i've got in there it's easy to get in and out which is nice i've seen other solutions that you can't really get that out very easily, but this comes right out. There's a there's a cutout there that allows you to get your finger in there just enough to pull it out with no problems. Yeah, neat cartridge. Oh, in uh, this slot here, you can get an external back button that uh, replaces. Well, that it adds to it, so it gives you a, a button that you can put right beside your computer. So you don't have to reach around the computer, which is nice if you're in a 128D or something that's way back under a, a monitor stand or something where you can't easily hit that. You can get an external back button. That's the slot where you uh, micro um, USB where you can plug in the cable that comes with it to do the firmware update. This one actually came with the most recent firmware, so that's good. Uh, no need to do the update. Okay, so I've downloaded some 128 specific software. Let me see if I can get this to go. Oh, didn't boot it, let's see. I wonder if that's because it tries to boot the, yeah, there's the disc. So let's do this. Uh, try, to, try to do it that way. Oh, here we go, yeah, it, so it works. So if you've got 128 specific software, it doesn't boot into 64 mode just because it detects a cartridge in the slot, which is the behavior of a lot of the 64 cartridges. It'll, it'll actually pull your 128 over to 64 mode. This doesn't appear to do that. That's nice. Cool. Okay. So we know that works. So that is a possibility there. That's going to open up some opportunity for me.
All right, I'm gonna try it in this 64 as well. Make sure it works across different variations of the motherboard. And I've also got a bunch of software on that SD card now, so I've got plenty to try. Let's try Kung Fu Master. That was always a favorite when I was a kid. I don't know what it was about the 80s, but it seems like there was a lot of martial arts games during that time frame. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, this was always one of my favorites. Okay, let me try something else. Let's try... I'm guessing that's Jupiter Lander. Yep, looks that way. And my joystick is in the wrong port for this game. Can't play that one until I get a switch the joystick over. All right, let's see what else we got. Now these are cartridges. Now, it was, oh, I see, I see why. I was gonna say some of these are in red for some reason, but they're still in their zip uh, zip uh, archive. They weren't uh, extracted out. So, although that one is. Let me see what it does when I try a red one. Invalid format. Yeah, there's something it doesn't like about them. And I like how you can uh, skip all the way to a certain letter. So if you hit letter L. Oh, it's A-L. Let me just go to L. Oh, I accidentally hit enter. Sorry. There we go. L. <laughs> Z. Yeah, there's... Let's try uh, a D81. Let's see. Now these are all D81 images. Okay, so it definitely does D81 images. works okay let's uh so we know uh the d81s work let's go up to uh i think we've already determined the uh d64s worked without any issue Here. Oh, these are T sixty four. Let's try this one. Yeah, T sixty fours work as well as the D sixty four. So anyway, this is my first uh, few minutes impression of uh, the back bit cartridge seems to be a great tool i only had a few minutes with it but so far so good and it does everything i hoped it would i'm sure there's a lot that i haven't learned yet so i'll have to have to do a deep dive in the documentation and make another video on anything i come up with uh, until then all right next time